Hello, YouTube. Is this too zoomed out? No, this is fine, you know what? Today, I'm gonna tell you guys something a little bit serious. I made a video a long time ago telling you why I got rejected from Google, and it was a joke, guys. I said I poop my pants. It's shit, the this shit everywhere. I said that I got baked from secondhand weed smoke, and you know, I cried during that video, and a lot of you took it seriously. Why, you, why would you take that seriously? You think I pooped my pants in an interview? Clearly I didn't. Now, what I'm gonna tell you right now is the real story. It might not seem like it because of my energy. I'm making this video for two reasons. Because you guys thought that video was real, and two, because that's one of the only questions I get. Why don't you work at Google? I'm gonna tell you, this is the real reason, no jokes. And it seems like it's a joke because of how I'm setting it up, but it's not a joke. And I'm smiling like it's a joke, but it's not. But seriously, this is serious, okay. I interviewed at Google last year and I passed. They score you on rubric grades. My recruiter called and said my grades are really good and most people that get them passed. He sends it in with my profile, with all my education, my experience, my background. So my interviews are good, all of my profiles good. The hiring committee now will approve or not approve me. If they approve me, then they draft up my offer and they send it to me. If they don't, then I get rejected. I got approved. My recruiter emails me. Congratulations, you got approved. We're waiting on, you know, the offer, whatever. Now, what happened to me between then and getting rejected? How is that possible? if I passed. Well, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I have 400 videos on my channel. 300 of these are during my study process to get to the top companies. I cared about this more than living. That's not a good way to study or live your life or think about things when it comes down to this stuff. So I ended up self-destructing. Three months of my life, I did nothing studied morning to night. And I was about to find out four days from then, well, was the last three months of my life completely wasted or was it not? I got so crazy. I was having physical anxiety attacks where I was like, you know, I couldn't move. I was like having heart palpitations. I would just sit and refresh my email all day. I would, you know, I set alerts on my email. I don't know, all this stuff. And I ended up contacting the person I phone interviewed with and I called and left voicemails on their Google phone number. I started going over my recruiter's head and spamming random HR people on LinkedIn. Like what's going on? I haven't gotten my offer yet. What's going on? Cause I couldn't wait to get it. I could not wait to hear if I'm getting it or not. I ended up emailing the engineers I interviewed with by guessing their emails. I guessed all combinations of the email. Like their first name dash their last name, their first name dot their last name, the first letter of their name dot their last name at Google. And I guessed it until Gmail showed me that the email exists. And then I emailed them long essays like, hey, why didn't I hear back from my recruiter? You know, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. You know, I studied so hard for this, but I sent essays, right? This all got back to my recruiter somehow. And they contacted me and said, this is inappropriate and that I should not do this. And that's not a part of the hiring process and going outside of that is bad and not recommended. And after that, I got rejected. I'm not sure if I sealed my own fate there. Maybe I would have got rejected anyway. They said they were moving forward with another candidate. And um, that, I, f I sincerely believe that I sealed my own fate though. I sincerely believe I got myself rejected. And that's just a theme through my life. I have anxiety and I self-destruct a lot of things when they're going good. And you know what? That's something I'm coming clean about here. This is the real story. I didn't want to tell it because it makes me sound like kind of crazy. And I'm not. That's the true story. So now you don't have to ask anymore. It was devastating. I was depressed for like a while. And I thought it was the end of the world. And if I had advice for other people, don't get too obsessed with this because it's really bad like toxic for your health mentally and whatever and you know i uh that's why i don't want to work at these companies now i get emails every day from these recruiters saying nick please 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 work at google and facebook and amazon and, blah, blah, blah. and i'm like listen i don't need it i already have a good job i'm making decent money i have a youtube i have friends 
why would I want to go through all this again and get depressed and lose my mind when I have a good life? My life is great right now. Even though there's a global pandemic, it's so much. Every time things are going good, you got to remember, oh, there's a global pandemic. So that's also bad too. So never mind. I don't know. Whatever, dude, whatever. We're done with this video. That's the reason. That's the truth. Let me know if any of you guys can relate to the anxiety behind these things or if you got as obsessed as me, even though it's highly unlikely because I don't, I've never even heard of people going that far. But that's just me. I guess maybe I'm insane. So like and subscribe if you think I'm a crazy person. And that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. And next time, I don't know. I have nothing, I have nothing planned. Um, but we'll, we'll have good content. That's it. Peace.